Privacy coins make a regulatory breakthrough as Zcash is listed by Gemini, a bit licensed exchange. Walton Chain declares its entry into the fashion space with its newest child chain, Fashion Chain. Angelist spin-off and crowd equity platform Republic gets funding from NEO and Binance. The number of women interested in cryptocurrency has doubled since January. Goldman Sachs debuts a beautiful new blockchain-focused webpage. The CFTC calls cryptocurrency a modern miracle. And Sunday, bloody Sunday. What happened? What does it mean? And what do you do with all this FUD? We've got all your headlines mixed with some daily market analysis. I'm Elio Trades, and your FUD TV daily update starts now. Welcome back. FUD Nation. Now, honestly, of all the days, I love when I get to report, oh, Bitcoin looks like it's going to the moon. All the fundamentals are going up. But to be honest, the reason why I created this channel, the reason why FUD TV exists for you all is to help you deal with the overriding uncertainty, the doubts, the swirls of confusion that sometimes engulf this whole industry. And you cannot beat yourself up or beat anyone else up for this kind of activity. What you have to understand, I believe, is more fundamental than that. If you want to experience transformative economic events in your life, you have to understand that that can't happen to everyone in the world. It can't happen to the majority of the people in the world. If you want an economic event to really set you apart, you have to be in a smaller group of people, a smaller percentage of people that see something happening earlier, that participate in something happening earlier, then it becomes brutally obvious and clear. Now, of course, early, early cryptocurrency investors have already experienced that. But right now, I'd say we're retracing back in time, not just a little bit, but quite a bit, not just in the price speculation, but in also the cultural understanding and the cultural opinion towards cryptocurrencies. People are running away when they see days like this. But you have to understand that as we get these crashes, these dips, these big, fuddy, fuddy days, this is what makes you, the cryptocurrency investors that stick through this, all that much more unique all that much better positioned to take advantage of something that other people are fearful of and don't understand fully. And that's why this channel exists, is to empower you to understand that just because the price is going down doesn't mean you're making the wrong decision by participating in this industry. Now, of course, if you have financial obligations, if you're in over your head, if you're feeling mentally just distraught and bewildered and beaten down by this, I want to encourage you, take care of yourself. If you need to take some money out of the market to feel better mentally, take some money out of the market to feel better mentally. We're talking a lot about mental health recently. I spent a lot of time this weekend talking about mental health with my friends on the sort of wake in the wake of Anthony Bourdain's passing. And I actually took the weekend to have my own mental health weekend and just make sure that I was good. To be honest, it had nothing to do with the prices. I just work all the time. So I just wanted to have a little time to myself and have breathe a little fresh air. What I want to impress on you is this. The more FUD, the more crashing, the more confusion, and the more you understand the long-term vision of this industry, the more unique you are, the more positioned you are to be in that small group of people that benefit tremendously from the transformation of this industry. So don't resent the FUD. Learn to embrace the FUD, understand the FUD, and know that the FUD, in some ways, is your biggest asset, your biggest friend. Because if you can see through it, and if you can understand what's behind that FUD, then you are in a small, small group of people that deserve to be rewarded when this industry truly transforms our world. We're gonna hop into some news right now with the extremely promising news that Zcash has just been listed on the Gemini Exchange. Zcash is a privacy token. It essentially allows for zero knowledge proofs, which means that it can't be tracked in the same way that Bitcoin can be tracked. And largely, it was thought that privacy coins would be a regulatory hangup. However, the Gemini Exchange is bit licensed, which means it has the highest level of accreditation accreditation allowed for as a cryptocurrency exchange in the United States. And for that reason, its listing of Zcash is phenomenal. And it shows that privacy coins are not going to be made, I guess, illegal or stomped out by the regulators. And it shows that a very cash-like private type of currency that we've created in the crypto space might actually be welcomed by regulators instead of feared as we had long thought. This is very bullish signs, not just for Zcash, but for all privacy coins. Now, switching to some very bullish fundamental news from Walton Chain. Now, if you don't follow Walton Chain very closely, you might not know about all of their steps towards revolutionizing the fashion or the retail industry. In fact, it sort of seemed like based on their initial behavior that V Chain was really going to be like the designer goods and the fashion sort of supply chain crypto and Walton Chain was going to focus on different issues, IoT being its primary uh, focus with its 
infrared chips and all of the different sensors that it's been focusing on and its tremendous, almost unending lists of blockchain patents. However, it's making its clear entrance into the fashion industry. We know it's been speaking with H&M. We also know that it's been pioneering a concept of completely uh, autonomous retail stores, meaning that you can pick stuff off the rack, try it on. It'll bring you other suggestions based on what you're trying on automatically without any humans in the store. It's crazy. It's like a mix of the Amazon sort of no uh, checkout and this sort of future of IoT devices, really amazing stuff. And its newest entry, Fashion Chain, is of course focused on creating a decentralized e-commerce platform for fashion. I think that this can't be overstated how amazing this is gonna be. And I would expect Fashion Chain to truly blow up given Walton Chain's incredible use of IoT sensors and their focus on really revolutionizing retail as we know it. Keep an eye on this. I think this makes it clear that Walton Chain intends to compete on every level with every other chain, especially VeChain, who might be a little bit louder, a little bit better at marketing marketing their services and their technology, but don't sleep on Walton. Don't sleep on Walton because they are absolutely looking into doing amazing things in the fashion industry as well. And this sign to me is extraordinarily bullish. And we knew it to be true, but it's great to get the official announcement that Binance is going to have fiat crypto pairings. And they're starting with the euro, of course, based on their relationship with Malta. They have an official bank account. They just told Bloomberg that this is official news. So we know that we can expect this soon. And of course, fiat to crypto pairings is a huge sort of barrier that's been overcome thus far with Coinbase. A lot of people just go to Coinbase and they take their fiat and they put it into cryptocurrencies through, you know, Ethereum, largely Ethereum or Bitcoin or Litecoin and send it around to these exchanges to trade. But now we can see a direct fiat gateway with Binance, and that's going to be an absolutely huge revelation. I think it could help adoption a lot, especially as we look at other things like ETFs being in the works. We're looking at a lot of sort of fundamental drivers of a lot more action, a lot more price action, a lot more accessibility. So accessibility is key to adoption, and this is a phenomenal piece of news. And the bullish news around Binance is just the beginning, as they've just invested part of their big sort of billion dollar blockchain funding operation into a new angel list spinoff, which is called Republic. It's essentially a crowd equity platform where you can invest into to different projects and provide sort of early stage funding for things that you like. You can think about it as Kickstarter for the crypto community. I don't know if they're calling them all ICOs. That term has started to become a little bit of a hot button political issue. So I'm not going to call it ICOs yet, but we know that this is big. Neo's involved, Binance is involved, the AngelList people are involved. So this is an extremely bullish, sort of seemingly big project that we're undergoing here. And if you have a new blockchain project that you're struggling to get funding for, maybe this is the place that could really be the linchpin at getting these young projects projects that kind of exposure that they need to truly get off the ground. And despite price speculation, there's about twice as many women interested in buying Bitcoin and cryptocurrency than there were at the beginning of the year. This is awesome. We all know that there's a bit of a gender imbalance in this industry. Cryptocurrencies are sort of just getting to be known for what they are. But I do believe that if we want our societies to embrace stuff, we need our entire society to understand it and to be interested in it. And so I'm extremely excited when I see women becoming more interested in bringing a new face to cryptocurrency. I'm a big believer believer in product and branding and translating things. That's why I believe in FUD TV as a great mechanism to bring people into the cryptocurrency community because I think content and other ways are great ways to sort of reach out and bring new people into the cryptocurrency community and make them more understanding. And I think the more women we have in this industry, the more we'll get better translations of the value of Bitcoin and blockchain to the entire world. So big shouts out to all my crypto ladies. We love you. There needs to be more of you. And I'm here on Goldman Sachs website where it says blockchain, the technology of trust, which is absolutely astonishing. And it just shows you how far this industry has come and how far it's going to go, as this is just the beginning of informing the general public about the real benefits of blockchain. People don't even understand what this technology does. They know that people have gotten rich off Bitcoin, but we need the public to understand that this is a tech revolution. This is an industrial revolution. And the more that we communicate the value of the technology, the more that we will win. And so this is an amazing, very bullish feeling that I have when I saw this being posted on Goldman Sachs website you don't have to believe me. Go check it out for yourself. Goldman Sachs blockchain. Do it. And we are going to read this open letter by the CFTC. This is on their website because you need to understand just how bullish the powers that be, the sort of fundamental powers that be in our financial and economic worlds couldn't be more positive, couldn't be more supportive about the transformative technological revolution we're going through. So in the fuddiest of fuddiest of days, this is such an amazing thing to be posted, and we're going to read it because you need to read every last word of this. You need to hear this. 
Regarding blockchain and financial technology more generally, we have been out in front on this issue and outspoken for the last couple of years, providing oversight in our markets, especially to make blockchain and other technologies more transparent to ensure that the markets are free from fraud and manipulation. It isn't that easy. Some people call this new technology the Wild West. I guess my agency is the equivalent of Wyatt Earp in Tombstone, for all you Western fans. We have engaged in notable enforcement actions, both in the United States, working with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Justice, the Department of Treasury, among others, and we are providing public information to educate, thereby deterring fraud, misinformation, misrepresentation, manipulation, and other criminality. More about all this in a few minutes. The debate on virtual assets is just the beginning. None of us know where it will end, but it has forced us to rethink. We have learned that virtual assets respect no borders. Regulation is often behind the curve, unable to keep up with daily developments, at least the developments that we know about. As a result, some countries have outlawed virtual currencies. Others have new strict laws to control them. Many countries simply don't know what to do. Their policy is bewilderment or avoidance. And some countries think that virtual currencies are only a problem for developed countries like Switzerland, Germany, Singapore, or the United States. But virtual currencies may will become a part of the economic practices of any country anywhere. Let me repeat that. These currencies are not going away. They will proliferate to every economy in every part of the planet. Some places, small economies, may become dependent on their own virtual assets for the sake of survival. These currencies will be outside traditional monetary intermediaries like governments, banks, investors, ministries, or international organizations. We are witnessing a technological revolution. Perhaps we are witnessing a modern miracle. A modern miracle. A modern miracle. That's how the CFTC has defined virtual assets, not just blockchain. This isn't just about keeping your data secret. This isn't just about making sure that things are more efficient and, and easier. This is about changing everything, the way that we interact, the way that we transmit value, even the way that we govern our own societies is being affected largely by this new technology. What we're witnessing is nothing short of transformative. So when you are surrounded by FUD and you see it everywhere, you need to understand what is the long-term vision. No revolution in the history of humanity has ever been smooth and without resistance. This is going to be a rocky process, but if you understand where we're headed, you understand that this rockiness and your belief in the future is what's going to make you deserving and entitled to the benefits of this entire asset class, this entire revolution. You need to be strong. You need to understand where we're going as a cryptocurrency community, and you need to understand that even if Bitcoin goes down to $1,000, that the future the future of digital assets and cryptocurrency and the blockchain is still as strong as it's ever been. In fact, it gets stronger each and every day. And we promise that FUD TV exists to help you deal with this FUD, to help you see through these negative moments, these downturns, and help you embrace the incredible and optimistic future that we're all helping create on a daily basis. I just want to say thanks again to everyone who's been sticking with the channel. We know that it's been a tough and long bear market, one of the longest in the history of cryptocurrency. So don't think that this is any small feat what you're doing, but I do appreciate you guys coming back and helping build this amazing community on this channel that we will collectively help transform the future of this industry. So thanks so much for all the comments, all the likes, all the engagement that really helps me give back and create this content each and every day, because I do believe that what we're doing here is transformative and it's very important. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell notification. That way you know exactly when we put out new content. I'm Elio Trades, you're watching FUD TV, and I'll see you very, very soon on the next episode. Thank you.